This is Nadia from Verify Pipeline Authoring, and today I'd like to show you some of the aspirational mockups that I've been working on for our three-year vision. So these mockups are wireframes. Um, they're just to give us a general idea for the direction we're thinking about, for the features we'd like to implement, for the problems that we want to focus on further, and so on. So this is not an accurate representation of uh, the feature set that we're committing to or uh, of the user experience that um, we really want to create. Maybe it will look and work very different. But either way, uh, here what you're looking at is the CI homepage, which would be your first time experience within GitLab CI. So even if you are completely new to CI, you've never used CI before, you will be able to read a very quick tutorial here you can just expand this little welcome alert and uh, understand better how GitLab CI works and what it can do for you. Then you can browse the templates. We would recommend templates based on um, your project type. So with minimal customization, you can just get started. You would be able to easily import your CI from um, all of the top uh, CI tools. Uh, if you're using some other tool, uh, we will really try to offer documentation for that. Mm -hmm. If you don't feel comfortable playing around with CI in your main project, you can just whip up a test project that's closest to the type of project that you have. So you can play around with things, break things, share it with your team um, before you actually work on uh, CI in your, uh, in your main project. And as we're also planning to offer more courses and generally more um, resources to developers to learn about CI, they can also appear on this page. So this page would always be available to you. This will kind of be uh, the homepage where all of the newest templates would appear, uh, all of the newest resources would appear here. Um, and this is probably the place you would go if you want to create a new pipeline configuration as well. So let's say you um, decide to get started, you choose one of the projects, or you create a new pipeline from scratch. Um, then you get to the CI builder. So for the CI builder, we're, we can leverage the visual builder um, with the flexibility of the editor. So here in the visual builder, you would be able to define all of the main uh, things for your pipeline, like the jobs, the stages, the, the connections between the jobs, um, whatever feels natural and intuitive in the visual builder, we can have it here. And all of the more advanced settings can appear in the sidebar where you, you would be able to define literally everything. So here you have the job selected. So all of the settings for the job would appear here. Um, and if you feel more comfortable with uh, editing the YAML file, you can also do that. So we would have embedded linting here um, automatic fix suggestions that you can just apply in one click. So that comes in quite handy for those who are used to managing their CI configuration uh, in a YAML file. You would also be able to browse templates here. So you can apply uh, full pipeline templates or you can browse the job modules and just insert specific jobs into your pipeline. And of course, as you do that, as you update anything um, in the sidebar, like in the editor or in the settings, it would get reflected in the visual builder as necessary as well, and vice versa. You would also be able to read documentation here within the context of the UI, because we understand that um, configuring your CI can get quite complex, and it can be very useful to have the documentation right within the context so you don't have to leave the CI builder to uh, complete your configuration. Literally everything will be here in one place. So yeah, these are just some of the ideas that I have around the pipeline authoring experience. Please let me know if you have any other ideas for how to improve this. As I said, this user experience is very visionary. Um, we're not necessarily going to have like a sidebar and everything in the sidebar. I'm open to all kinds of ideas. And maybe you have some suggestions for uh, automation that we could do or for how to surface analytics within the context of the CI builder. These are all of the things that we're thinking about and generally any other feedback on this direction is welcome as well. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye.